Hello and welcome back to the channel. Thank you for joining me on this important episode of Ignorant American Learns Things about the world. How to use a bidet. <laughs> um, the one time I've ever seen a bidet, like a legit bidet by itself, was when my wife gave birth. There was a bidet in the bathroom. Because it can get a little, I guess, you know. They gotta clean it up down there. So that's the only place in America I've ever seen a bidet like next to the toilet. And I was very confused. It was very low to the ground. I, I don't know how you would, what, uh, let, let's learn. Or at least I'm gonna learn. How to use a bidet. I am gonna talk about a bidet today. Great. For us in the States, I think most of us aren't familiar with them. Um, yes. Unless you've traveled and, and experienced it or know somebody that has one. I had never used a bidet. Um, we've traveled to Europe several times and they've just kind of stood in the bathroom unused. We are traveling now for a year. We spent three months in Spain. About half of the places in Spain have bidets, but almost all do in Italy. Well, in Spain, we were in our third month before I ever attempted to use one. <laughs> and kind of regretful because once I used it, I loved it. Oh, and I thought she meant she was regretful that she used it. I was like, oh God, that's scary. And then we left Spain for England. They didn't have bidets there, so I had to wait until we came back. Wait, they don't have bidets in England? Italy. Huh. I have the bidet again, so I'm excited. I want to tell <laughs> there it is. It's like a little sink on the ground. First of all, that nozzle is faced down. Some of the things the you can use the bidet for that I've experienced. How many I'm things sure can you use it for? Probably others. One is we're currently staying near the beach. So you can come in, rinse your feet off. Flip flops on, flip flops mm. off. It doesn't matter. Or you can just rinse off. Your, like you got your, your flip flop all all dirty. You know, you you just rinse the sand off. Um, it's a uh, it's powerful. The hot water, warm water thing. So if you like it, you know, warmer or colder, you can adjust that. Like anything. So that's. One. Would you really want to be sticking your foot in there? I mean, honestly, do you people like? Is that? I mean, I don't know. I guess it's no different than sticking it in the shower, like... One thing, another thing that I found hmm. in Spain is you could sit, because it was the same kind of setup, I could sit on the toilet and use the bidet to shave my legs. Which what? Which really nice because most showers in Europe are these little bitty box things that give you no room to shave your legs. I mean, you know, you cream up your legs and then the, the shower is just washing it right off. I can't, obviously, I can't, I can't relate to this. I'm not a swimmer or anything. I don't shave my legs. So. But that's interesting. I've never, this, I never thought of needing a spot to shave your legs as being something. It's really nice because I can shave it here and not worry about rinsing my shaving cream off. So those were the first two ways I experienced hmm. the day. You know, I had to kind of work into it. So sure. for the real purpose of it. Sure. So sure. I'm gonna um, tell you the reason I really like the bidet Ooh. is so you're doing a business on the toilet. Okay. And you feel like you need a little extra cleaning. Yeah. You just kind of yeah, yeah, okay. Well, I think I, I think I know what she means. Sometimes it takes like 50, 15 wipes to get be satisfied, and by that time you're you're like raw. Scoop right <laughs> over to the bidet. Of course, you don't have your you know dress in, in the water flow. You can pre-fill the water like while you're on the toilet, say. Pre-fill the water. If you want it nice and warm. Wait for the flow to get up. Oh. Warm. Okay, not fill it up, just but come over. Now the flow, but why is it? it is, you know, forceful or, or whatever. The nice thing is, all you do is back up. The flow goes right where you want it to. And you can either, they, they have this, this. So it shoots like down. Huh. That actually, that's interesting. So I thought it shot up at you. Maybe some do. Um, it's kind of a 
cleaner for private parts. So it's a mild cleanser. They always have it near the day. They also have the butt towel. That's the name I gave it after Eric used one in Spain um, at a house we were staying at. He I did not know this. He used butt towel on his face. Sent me into a fit of giggles. But if you ever find a towel near proximity to the bidet. And especially if it's a brown towel. Do not use it on hands or face. Just saying. So. Here, that's what we do. We're, we're washing these parts. You can either use your hand or not. Have the water, adjust it like you want it. I found that it doesn't really matter to me if it's warm or cold. It, it, it all feels good. So for female, okay. and maybe male, I don't know. But if you want your, your front parts to get a little oh, wow. refreshing, maybe okay. you've had a hot sweaty day or something, and you just need a little extra, you know, pick me up. I had no idea there. <laughs> Guys. So. I don't know what to say. This is interesting. <laughs> I don't mean it like. Kudos to her for making this video. You know, a lot of people would be, I don't know, go check out their channels. They, des they deserve some subscribers for this. I think some of you might go subscribe because of this. Like um, same thing. Weird. You, you, you straddle it, you know, facing the water flow. And again, you can use your hand or not. It just really washes the parts that you need. So, you know. Oh, no, I can't do that. So you just cut the water. <laughs> she was, like, about to do it. On, splash, splash. Stand up, butt towel. Okay. And you're done. I mean, you would think it would be really messy. The towel, I don't, hmm, I'm a little skeptical of that. I think toilet paper, I would stick to that. But it's not. There's no drips. You got your butt towel. You splash, splash, wipe, wipe, and you're done. And you feel... So you just, like, jump from the toilet to that thing. It seems like the ones that are on the toilet would be more convenient. Just as fresh as I'm just saying. So... Because then what if you have to continue? You got to be jumping back and forth. I love the bidet. And when we return to the States, I would like to have one. I think if you give one a try, don't be scared. Um, don't Not a lot of people have a bidet here. Not a lot. As I did to try one. I think you will like it too. Um, I would like to have a all-in-one bidet in Spain um, where we stayed. The gentleman had a bidet that was built into his toilet. So you didn't have to have the two separate. Um, yeah, that's too much for a, it was just a, for a household. All-in-one. So, I feel like that's the kind I'm going to shoot for when I go home. But that's how you use a bidet as far as I know. I'm sure you could find other other things to do with it. Wash the baby in it. I don't know. What? Um, but <laughs> This lady's funny. I say try it. You might like it. Okay. Wow. F fantastic. Um, so I guess it was kind of self-explanatory in hindsight. <laughs> Um, but why is it so low to the ground, first of all? Second of all, why is the water, like, pointed down? I would think you'd want it, like, angled up. But maybe that would make a mess. Interesting. Interesting. Very interesting. Um, it looked very powerful, and I had no idea that there were so many uses for the bidets. Wow. The more you know. Uh, thank you for watching. Anybody who, I don't know, stuck through this video, wow, thank you for watching. I, I was thoroughly entertained. And go check out While Away With Us. They pro they make, like, other travel stuff. Um, very fun. Have a fantastic day. I hope to see you guys here again next week. Because I'll be here learning about the UK and Europe. <gasps> Goodbye.